inside the Mullen Center. We got a developing rivalry here between UMass and Maine. Not just number 11 versus number six in the national polls, also number 11 and number six in the pairwise. Breen was the star center for this top line, but I think spreading out some of their top end talent, he's down at the second line centering Hool and Friel the last few games. And here's Chabrier with a nice breakout. Chabrier scores! Oh, the first shot of the night for Maine goes! Early Black Bear lead, and it's Brandon Chabrier's fifth goal of the season. Third period, but this time UMass gets caught. I think it was an ill-advised pinch up the wall, and Maine a little bit more aggressive. They a five-minute major power play led to three Northeastern goals as Lawton back fires one across, but no finish on the other. Cam O'Neill avoids what could have been a big hit. And here comes Brandon Holt forcing the issue. Poked away by Hrabble. Puck came loose in front, still available, and it's kept out with the pad. Well, Greg Carville has said that about 90% of goals come from the defensive breakdowns. There might be one here. Big chance for Cameron Boyum. Handles it, comes to Murray. Thrown to the circle, but nobody home. It's tipped down. Three months before I was born, Tyler. What a moment in time. Then we got Nate. This one is denied by Hrabble. And he'll wind out the rest of the clock in period one. Two minutes in, it was Brandon Chavrier with a two-on-one goal, and that is it so far. And had to give it up. O'Neal, looking for Makar, came out to Ufko, who pounded one off the pads of Boya. Christian Sanda active from the blue line spot. Down deep for O'Neal. Turns away from Antonacci. Wrap around, they score! Cameron slam dunk, and we are tied at one. No goal, Nate. Offside on UMass. Earlier today, and oh yeah, you see it right there. McCarr. It's McCarr who jumped off just fractionally ahead of the puck, but I mean, you could see it pretty clearly on that. Colo era. Long skate, finds Mercury, plenty of room. Saved by Boya. Ufko kept it in. Ufko shielding the puck, threw it in front. Loose and a shot off the side of the post. He Shot that was saved and the shot that went in after the offside call. UMass heavily out shooting Maine, and that's going to continue here with Idar Sunyev, but he's stonewalled by Boya. He somehow thread the needle ahead to Donovan Hool. Toe drag in front, but the backhander went wide. Nifty play there from the second line. Sunyev's got the puck anyway, cutting to the middle. He gets upended. Then he took down Hool, comes back to Moore with some space. And he goes down deep. Look at him, stick handle, centering feed, pushed wide by O'Neill. Has been UMass's period. Can't think of a great A opportunity for Maine. Has a tight angle shot, good save there from Boya. From the top line center with the Nadeau brothers on his left and right. Takeaway here from Sunyev, drives the net, that's O'Hara rather, and a nice stop there again from Boya. Avoids Mercury, connects with Hool. Needle threaded for Friel, tried the five hole, but it's closed up by Hrabel. Came right back to him, Lawton back wisely, bangs it off. Avoids Mercury, connects with Hool. Needle threaded for Friel, tried the five hole, but it's closed up by Hrabel. It's right there with him. Friel to the circle, one timer hammered wide by Hool. Kept in by Breen, right to the middle, Friel across, poke toward goal, pad save, Hrabel covers up. Faceoffs 17 to 8 now in UMass's favor. Can they capitalize on this one? One timer lifted high to Nassari. Morrow goes for a spin. Stick handling away from Poisson. Down deep now. Scott Morrow. Pad save. Rebound denied by Boya. Where do they find this kid? Go, but he got the stick of Freel instead. And here comes Hull scampering forward. He's got Breen in the middle. Look at the speed from Donovan Hull. Power move. Draws a penalty. Josh Nadeau. Sets up Shabria, giving some room. One timer for Bradley Nadeau, sealed off by Hrabble. Breen glides in, threads the needle to Shawley. He's in on Hrabble, but couldn't get the shot off. This, but he got the job done to kill the rest of period two. Wow, big opportunities for both teams toward the end of that second period, but a scoreless middle frame. There's Josh Nadeau, saucer run over to his brother. Bradley with a hammer, it's up high off the save from Hrabble. Balances at the lines, you've got left shot defenseman on the left. And left shooting wingers on the left. There's a right shooting Ryan Lawton back sets up Mercury right to the middle. He just missed the target and the goaltender never saw it. Or play compared to the first two. There's room for Sunyev holding, centered for Ufko. It came to him, touch pass to Musa, and a big block shot there again by Antonacci. It's an 0 for 5 weekend so far with a man advantage. 
Cameron out loose to Sanda. Couldn't sneak one past the shoulder of Boya. Pushed out to the blue line and a tough. He'll thread the needle to Kenny Connors. Finds the room with the circle, but a good recovery from Brazil. The Black Bear captain. Alger threw it on, missed it wide. 50 left. Murray stays on side. Cameron hopped in with him. That's off the stick of Arnett. Cameron took it away, fired one on, and Boya made the blocker save. Sunyev hops to it, push pass in the middle, Lawton back, shoved it wide. Stick went down for Arnett, picked it right back up. They're back to even stick-wise. Off go to the circle for Sunyev, holding, pass across, Lawton back, just missed it short side. To the trailer, Mercury, ahead to Lawton back, here comes Robble now. Empty net, they'll go six on five, Lawton back, drives the net, centering feet all the way out to Nenesori, shoots in a blocker save by Boya. Mora. Cuts to the circle, given some room. Morrow, stick handles it away. Musa threw it on, came behind the tie up off the face off. Off go. One timer from Sunyev, missed it high. Loose in the corner, two seconds left. Clock winding out, and Maine gets a big win on the road. It's a shutout for the freshman, Alvin Boya. And Ben Barr in his old building picks up his second win against his former team in just his third year on the main bench. One-nothing Black Bears.